In this video, we shall see the step-by-step -step procedure to perform CV exploration. I am using the Striker 1788 system with the ICG mode. The initial adhesiolysis is done using energy source. The energy source is a good instrument to perform bloodless dissection. This is a 52-year-old lady who had presented to us with obstructive jaundice. On evaluation, was found to have multiple gallbladder stones with choleidopolithesis. On ERCP, the calcimeri in the CVD were removed. However, there was a single stone of 1.7 cm in the common hepatic duct which was not retrieved. Hence, two stents were placed during ERCP. And now the patient is taken up for laparoscopic CV exploration. The duodenum is completely mobilized using energy source. The other adhesions are also clear so as to get a clear view of the anatomy and the gallet strand. initial visualizers is done, the mobilization and dissection of the gallets is done using the monopolar contrary hook. The posterior dissection is done first. And then the dissection is continued in the anterior aspect. Continuous traction of the left hand is very helpful in facilitating a good dissection. The angulation of the hook is helpful in dissection and short bursts of energy are given to prevent bleeding. The adhesions in front of the cystic duct are cleared and the posterior window is created. The Striker 1788 system has a 4K camera and a 30 degree telescope. The ICG mode is very helpful in defining anatomy of the biliary duct. Posterior window is now created using sharp dissection. Now the calyx is completely dissected and the critical view of safety has been achieved. The anatomy is confirmed using the various modes of ICG and further 
the section is continued with duodenum mobilization. Bipolar in one hand and energy source in the other hand is useful for a bloodless dissection. The peritoneum over the common bile duct is completely mobilized so that the bile duct comes into vision. It is important to completely mobilize and expose the common bile duct before it is open. The anatomy is confirmed using ICG fluorescence, the overlay mode, the CSF or the color segmented mode where clearly the cystic duct and the CBD is seen. The ENV mode and the CSI mode of the 178 system is very helpful in defining the anatomy. The cystic duct is now clipped. The cystic artery is also clipped. And now the common bile duct is opened using a monopolar pottery hook. The opening is extended more onto the common bile duct side. After adequately opening the opening in the common bile duct, the stone can be seen in the common hepatic duct. The stone was built into the common bile duct gently and then it was removed from the common bile duct. Stone was removed, preventing the crushing of the stone. The previously placed tanks were identified, and now the biliary duct was completely irrigated to clear off all the sludge. The stone was placed in the endo bag and the opening in the CBD was sutured with interrupted absorbable sutures.
the suturing has to be watertight to prevent any further bile leak. After the suturing is completed, a gauze is placed to check for bile leak. The cholecystectomy is completed using hook dissection. The specimen is placed in the endovac and the gallbladder fossa is irrigated thoroughly to clear off the bile and confirm hemostasis. A drain was placed in the subhepatic space and the specimen was removed through the endovac. The post op recovery of the patient was uneventful. Hope this video was helpful for the different steps of laparoscopic CBD exploration. Thanks for watching.